here we are starting off with some Troll Slayer Orange. Let's go out of it in my finer detailed airbrush. Now I'm going to work on the, uh, the shield centers again and the, uh, the other places I was doing it. Um, because I'm spraying fairly close to the model. I've got the PSI way down on this one. It's um, 10 on this uh, particular color here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that centre bit like that. Probably will. I did thin the paints down quite a lot when I did this. But nothing else. This is going to be a, a learning curve on where to put the camera angle when I'm airbrushing. It's, it's a bit different from when I'm um, doing the normal brush because I'm more conscious of the fact that I'm holding the, the, the airbrush but I'm focusing on the model as opposed to look, also looking at where I should be on the screen on the camera that went on quite well sometimes you do blast and uh, if you haven't cleaned out your airbrush probably just spits it out and that's not good no, it, it went on like first time how I wanted it to so that's cool So then we're concentrating on the leg area and those stripy bits of the armor plating of the leg. I wanted to do it uh, black, grey, and white stripes. So starting with the black, grey, and I'll put I'll put some down in the palette and I start painting on. And I'll speed up because uh, well, I'm going to sit here and just watch me paint it like, at my normal speed. Believe me, it's too slow. So I'm just laying it down on the uh, where I want it to go. I think I chose the second sort of plated area up from the bottom. And the, the ones either side of it were white, so I did the black first. I wasn't actually sure at this stage where I was going with it, but uh, I was very pleased with the uh, overall result. Okay, so that's the black strip done. Now it's time for the ceramite white <coughs> base colour from Citadel. And I just used the dampness of the brush to thin it down because there's no there's no details on that armor plating, it's just a flat surface area, so I wasn't too concerned about that. But it really um complements it I think. Uh, and I, like I say, I'm very pleased with the overall result. Also on the head there. Did end up doing the drones as well, but uh, don't want to on this update. So there we are. <coughs> now it's back to the airbrushing again. Time for some flash gets yellow in the finer detail airbrush that I have. Again, I had the PSI very low on this one. I think this was even lower again. It was on eight for this one. So just below ten. So I just want to bring that brightness out from the center. I want it to look like it's a glowing energy core to it somehow. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but uh, that's, that's just the way I envisage it. But, uh, the one in the centre I would like to be that way. So got, as I'm aware, um, you know, Riptides have some sort of kind of reactor you know, to their battle suits, so I kind of want that to be there. And the vents on the jetpacks, I want them to glow like they're working. There we are. So that is it as it stands currently. Not sure what I'm going to do next. Um, may work on the more airbrushing. But uh, yeah, there it is as it stands. I have gone in, I have touched in a few places here and there. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed making this series, and I still am enjoying it. So. Uh, 
please keep watching, please like, uh, share and subscribe and uh, I hope we'll get some more out to you. Thank you for watching guys.